Hello everyone, my name is John Doe, right here in Tokyo, Japan. Now, I did it and I saw someone else do it. Uh, put up things asking everyone in this anti-nuclear movement <laughs> to start to plan and give suggestions in the Western anti-nuclear movement. Let me make that clear. Because here in Japan, people already have their shit together and they're very organized and they know what to do. But it's clear in the Western movement that there's a lack of any of that really happening. So, like I said, I posted something on a Tumblr blog, which you should check out, and on the Facebook page which you can see in the about section of this channel. You can find links to those. Asking people for suggestions. Trying to get people to talk and start to really plan to take things into the material world. To get off the internet and start doing direct action and actually start getting organized. Now the response has been of course what we would expect. A lot of um, liberals and a lot of reactionaries coming out in droves saying no 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 online only really I'm sorry but that's simply not effective okay now I did get some suggestions from what I did things I posted and requested and I walked to some few other places and found some other interesting suggestions so a lot of those were very infantile, very um, basic, but also very useful. All right. Now, the first one that comes to mind to me, which, which, which was given to me, was making pins, banners, uh, T-shirts, and getting those things out on the street to people. Excellent idea. That's what we've been doing here in Japan since day one, since all of this anti-nuclear movement in Japan started. All right now, it's very easy to make this stuff, okay? You don't really need a lot of professional equipment. Um, and what I'll do for you is I'll put some links in the description box of this video. So if you're watching this video somewhere, not on YouTube, you need to go to the YouTube channel and look at the links for that. They'll show you how to make your own buttons. They'll show you how to make your own t-shirts. Banners? You don't need a link for that. If you want to make large banners, you can use uh, direct action events. You just need um, a lot of uh, large piece of cloth. Thick, thicker the better. Uh, and you will need some, um, some type of uh, paste or paint. Uh, what you're going to be looking for is some type of stuff from a craft shop. The really thick stuff. The fabric paint. You can find that for relatively inexpensive, like a craft shop or a DIY shop. Those are the best place to go to. So you know how to do that. But the links for the buttons and the, the uh, t-shirts will be in the description box. Very inexpensive, very easy to do. All right. Uh, also, I got things where people are saying uh, pamphlets and other type of handouts and even producing your own newsletter or newspaper. BAM! Exactly. Please do that. Now make your own uh, pamphlets. They're pretty easy to do. And even make your own newspapers or newsletters. They're easy to make those, alright? Now, I went in college, I was educated in journalism. Alright? And I had a, we took some classes on um, what they call local journalism. It's a lot of DIY information. I, start you, I learned how to start up your own independent newsletters and newspapers, how to manage it, how to publish them, and also how to distribute them. But I'll break it down for you and make it easier for you, okay? There's two programs out there you want to get for software. Now, if you're using uh, Microsoft, you're going to want to use um, Microsoft Word. Now, there's options in Microsoft Word that we can make pamphlets and, ban pamphlets and newsletters and, and small little newspapers. You can do it that way. It doesn't have to be much. You know, you'll see it if you're looking at it. You don't know how to do it. Um, go online, look it up. There's tutorials. If 
you're not comfortable with that, ask someone who knows a lot about Microsoft Word. Now, if you're using uh, something that's not Microsoft, like I am, I use Macintosh. Uh, yeah, I know. Okay. That's another video. Okay, we won't have the discussion now. But you can get something called um, Open Office. Now, Open Office is an open source uh, thing, very similar to um, Microsoft Word, and basically has all the options you're going to need in there. So those two options, use one of those programs. Okay. Now, the third thing that I thought was very, very important to bring up, and it's something I'm pushing for, and I don't see a lot of other people pushing for. Direct action, guys you got to form networks across your country, wherever you are. you got to um, get local leaders or organizers. you got to find those people, hunt them out, and find the ones who are motivated, skilled, and willing to actually organize things. All right? Now, you, you choose those leaders. Now, you want to choose areas that are poignant, right, which are key to your movement. That's, of course, where nuclear power plants are. Those where you want to get local organizers and local leaders, okay? You also want to focus on any type of nuclear research facilities. Uh, now, those are a little bit hard to, to search out, but you can find where those are. A lot of them are at uh, universities. Yeah, you'll find universities with nuclear reactors in them, all right? Just sitting there on campus, and they're using it. I can only imagine this, the lack of any safety procedures with that, okay? But you'll find those. Also, you want to look for um, nuclear regulatory agency offices. Uh, you can find those too. Those will be pretty easy to hunt up. Find where those places are, and that's where you want your organizers. That's where you want your, your leaders at. And you give those people the skills and the knowledge they need and, and a lot of support, because you're going to be starting out only one, just them. And they may be inexperienced. Maybe their first time doing this type of stuff. So you've got to really give them a lot of support and help and help give them the skills and the knowledge they're going to need to build a small collective and they can start doing things. Now, everything you want to suggest these leaders do is uh, build some type of local chapter uh, website where people from that area can access information, find out what's going on, and they can develop and plan their own events. Now, if you aren't real good at um, webmaster stuff, I'm sure there's people within your movement who can help you with that. There's got to be people out there who are highly skilled at it. I see all these websites that people are developing and getting out there uh, with anti-nuclear stuff, right? So there's people out there who can help if you ask them to help. I'm sure they'll be more than happy to do that. Right? Now, after you get that network built, you don't need a lot at first. Let's say you got three or four people who want to be organizers and leaders. That's the beginning of your network, okay? Now, after that, you want to try to get them to build those little websites. It can start out something very simple and basic, something like WordPress, blog, or even Blogger, all right, or something that they can present information, updates, and details of what's going on, and then get people involved. Now, if you get that done, then you want to have a central hub website where it collects everything that's going on and presents it as a unified movement. Well, things are actually happening with pictures, videos, updates, uh, poignant news, okay? Not useless bourgeois fighting back and forth. You want to avoid posting stuff like that or giving that information to people because it just confuses people and distracts them from your key goal, which is to end all nuclear power and all nuclear technology. That's your end goal, so never forget that, okay? And also, one more point. There's something the Western anti-nuclear movement has got to be really careful of. It's allowing a conspiracy theory gang into your movement. Now, I know, I know, okay, about questioning things and stuff like that, and some things are poignant need to be questioned. But remember, your main goal is to end all nuclear power and all nuclear technology, nothing else. So, some of these conspiracy theory groups do have access to a lot of key resources that can be used in key moments in your fight. But to let them in fully and have tight bonds or affiliations with them, 
the people, the ones you're trying to get on your side, are going to see that. Now, it's not my fault the way the current social construct is. The image and reputation these groups have. It's not my fault. That's what you're dealing with. and you got to be very careful which groups you align yourself with. Because it can have a long-term effect on that. Alright? So those are just a few things I thought were willing to point out, okay? Now please listen to this, okay? Don't shrug me off, alright? I know that a lot of you guys, especially the liberals, want to do that. But you see this. I wear the red star. I'm not one of these liberals. I'm not one of these reactionary liberals or one of these reactionary conservatives. This. That's where I'm coming from, okay? I've been in direct action movements many, many times throughout my life. All right? I've been involved in different movements throughout my life. I know what the hell I'm talking about, okay? But don't play games with me. I'm not going to have it. Uh -uh. Here I am reaching out to the Western anti-nuclear movement. All this time, all these videos I've made, showing you what's directly going on in Japan, doing all the video reports I've been doing for you guys. But now I'm actually reaching out to you. I'm talking to you directly this time. Proof is in the pudding with me. Now it's up to you guys, okay? I'm one willing to help you. Remember, I'm here in Japan on the front lines of this. I'm several thousand, thousands of miles away from the West. I got no plans to return to the West for a while. I've already been here in Japan coming up on six years. I haven't even breathed inside a Western nation in that time. So guys, come on now. All right? Listen to this stuff I'm telling you. Pay attention. It's not a joke. It's not a game. You must take your movement very, very, very seriously. So, I appreciate you watching the video and taking the time, okay? If it's the first time you've seen one of my videos, please subscribe to the channel. You'll get video reports. You'll get stuff like this from time to time. You'll get direct action vids. You'll get any, sometimes the occasional interview that I'm able to pull off with someone, okay? So until next time, Mr. John Doyle here in Tokyo, Japan. Check it out.